Hey guys, Isabel here. Welcome back to Real Din. So today is another Harry Potter merchandise review. And what I'm going to be showing you is one of my favorites, not because it's necessarily the best one, but because of the ingenuity of it. And it's just something so simply clever that I find it so very intriguing and wonderful. And it definitely puts on a light in my most darkest places. That's right, it's the Deluminator, specifically the one that Dumbledore gives Ron in The Deathly Hallows. So it comes in a very sleek, small black box and it has the Harry Potter logo on front and on the bottom is just trademark copyright information. Take off the lid and it's lined with what feels like a foam, a foam insert to help protect your item. So you just take that off and on the inside in a velvet lined interior that has the outline of the deluminator so it fits actually in the box snugly and safely is the deluminator itself. Pop it out. So now I feel like there's a lot of different materials for this. The two end caps do feel like metal. They're uh, cold to the touch and they have a nice little design on the end. This part here, which is the switch to turn on your deluminator, uh, it feels like plastic. So does the actual, I guess, body of the deluminator. Uh, but it was, I think it's meant to look like a green, dark gray, black marble. It's definitely, it's not marble, but you know, I don't see any cuts or scratches on it. So don't mind that. Also, there is a trademark in white at the base of the body. Uh, it's very small though, so if you guys have been watching videos like mine for a while, you'll know that uh, even though I know the trademark is needed, I don't like being visibly able to see it on the outside of things. I just feel like it takes away from the magic a little bit, but not too big of a, not really complain, just, you know, a personal thing for me. And I will open up the cap on top to show you the inside of the deluminator before I actually turn it on. So I think this, and for muggle eyes, this is supposed to be a, a cigarette or cigar lighter. So I can definitely see, I think, the instrument for that on the inside when you open it up before you even turn it on. But put that back, that cap back on, and let's slide, let's turn on our deluminator. Oh wow, it actually got all the lights in the room. Isn't that crazy? Here, I'll give, I'll give it back. Like just the ingenuity of this, I think is so, like it's so simple, but yet it makes it, you know, it makes it enjoyable. Like I can definitely tell there's like a, a wire that in like a little LED light in here that goes down uh, into the, you know, the body of the deluminator. But the fact that it actually lights up is really awesome. And it, it, you can tell that's a pretty like, this is a pretty bright bulb, you know? And it does go up and down. It does ascend and descend into the depths of the deluminator. I don't play around with it too much because I don't want the battery to run out. I have no idea how to replace it if it does. And also it does seem just a little bit delicate. So I feel like it would break easily. So before tax, cause I got this from the Noble Collection as most of my Harry Potter replica stuff is from. So before tax, this cost $49. Um, do I think this is worth $49? Uh, again, yes and no. Yes, because you know they went that extra mile to make it you know, light up and has movable parts. But no, because you know it is a relatively simple replica and you know the material feels mostly plastic. So maybe if the quality, you know, like less plasticky materials and maybe I would do $49, but definitely 39. If they offered it for 39, I would say that would be like a steal. But I think this is one of the more fun replicas in the collection that you can purchase. I definitely cannot wait to display it on my shelves. Well guys, that was my very quick review for Dumbledore's Deluminator that he left to Ron in the Deathly Hallows. What'd you guys think of the product? Would you get it? Do you love the fact that it lights up like I do? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear you guys' opinion. Would you get this item? Make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel for weekly Harry Potter 
videos and be sure to turn on that notification bell to see when I upload them. But other than that, that's all I have for you guys today. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.